Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehino with Miss Dino's Math. Today I want to take my favorite candy, peanut M&Ms. Ooh, ooh. And I just wanted to go over some math concepts with you and have some fun with peanut M&Ms. I definitely want to go over ratio because we have different colors in this bag. So I just wanted to go over ratios with different colors. And then I also wanted to take how many colors are in this bag and be able to turn those into fractions, be able to turn this into a proportion where we would get a percent. So what I first want to do is take this bag and separate these by color so we can find out how many of each color is in this bag. So let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to open up this bag of M&Ms and basically sort it into the cups. Okay, let's go ahead and calculate all of the colors and we'll get a total of how many M&Ms were actually in the bag. All right, everybody, let's break this down now by color. There were 34 total M&Ms in that bag. So let's break it now down by color. There were five green, seven yellow, seven orange, three red, three brown, and nine blue. So there are definitely more blues in that bag than any other color. So now let's go ahead and talk about ratios. Again, ratio is just going to be a relationship between, in this case here, two different M&M colors. So the ratio would be five green to seven yellow. And you always wanna make sure you stay in the correct order. So one more time, five green to seven yellow. You know, we can go over here to the browns and we can say there's, the ratio is three brown to nine blue. And for those of you that know your fractions and want to simplify that, that can be one to three. So the ratio is one brown for every three blue. So the ratio can be whatever you want, just knowing that you would count that color actually in this case colors for the ratio and look at here the red to the browns would be three red for three brown so now let's go ahead and talk um you know we can talk about percentages and fractions so now let's talk about the whole so if there were 34 m ms in that bag so now we can make a fraction with the m ms so for green, it would be five out of 34. Yellow, it would be seven out of 34. The orange, it would be seven out of 34. Red would be three out of 34. The brown would be three out of 34. And the blues would be nine out of 34. Now what we wanna do is be able to convert those to percentages, so let's do that. So what we can do now is just take each color and we can set it up as a fraction and now we can figure out its percent. Um, I'd like to be able to do this on paper. It would have been perfect if there were actually 36 M&Ms because that would have been easier to work on you know, pencil and paper. But we can actually do the math on a calculator too. So for the green, there were five green out of 34 so we would basically divide 5 by 34. And if we were rounding, that would be 15%. So 15% of the M&Ms are green. We can now go to the yellow. There were 7 yellow. And we would divide that by the total again, which was 34. And the percent, let's go ahead and round. So this would be 21%. 21% of the M&Ms are yellow. Uh, let's go to the orange. 
The same thing would be said for the orange, 21%, because there were seven orange also. Now let's go to the red. There were three red divided by 34. Wow, that would be, let's round that to 9%. So red and brown, 9% of the total bag would be for each color. 9% red, 9% brown. And then for the blue, our biggest percent. So here we go. There were nine blue divided by 34. 26% of the bag was blue. So it's just real fun to do percentages with, in this case here, M&Ms. So that was really cool. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Ratios and percentages with M&Ms. And the cool thing about it, you can have a nice tasty treat while you're working with ratios and percent. So for as far as the M&M bag, really neat experiment. Maybe try this experiment on your own to see if our percentages are the same. I guess they just randomly choose how many of each color goes into each bag. You know, I thought that there would be a more equal amount, but the numbers were kind of all over the place. So anyway, hopefully you learned a lot from for ratios and percentages, and hopefully M&Ms made it a little easier to learn and more fun. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino for Miss Hino's Math. I'll see you on the next video.